Hey everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. Thanks for stopping by and checking out a different sort of video that we have here today on the channel. Now, I often get asked by other people who are excited about modern and retro gaming, hey, I wanna get in to having a YouTube channel and doing streams and doing videos. How do I do it? How expensive does it have to be to get involved in it? And one of the first things that I tell people, is, or I ask people, is do you have a cell phone? Well, yeah, just about everybody's got a cell phone. You have your camera right there in your cell phone. For the first year and a half to two years of this channel, everything that I produced for the channel was shot on a cell phone. I initially started with a Google Pixel XL, moved to a Samsung Galaxy Note 8, then a 9, and then after the 9, I got the camera that I'm shooting with here right now, my Canon T7i. Now, the reason why I went with a DSLR, our youngest daughter was on the way, I knew that I would want some high quality pictures of her and it was one of those things I could basically kill two birds with one stone where I would get an excellent camera for what I wanted to do here on YouTube because it could do both photo and video and then also be able to do capture memories for the family. But quite honestly for the first year and a half, two years, something like this was my camera setup. Now I also like to remind people that having a DSLR will not get you an extra sub will not get you an extra view, and will not basically grow your channel for you. It's a tool, and what you can do with that tool is what will help grow your channel, get you more views, get you better exposure. Now, a uh, good friend of the channel, John Riggs, just recently passed in December of 2020, passed 100,000 subscribers on his channel. Congratulations, John, you are a great friend of mine and I wish you nothing but the best. And it w I was just thrilled to see you pass 100,000 subscribers. Thing with John, he did all of that with a cell phone. So you don't necessarily need a DSLR, but having a good camera can make things easier for you in the editing process. See, what I like about my DSLR is the fact that the depth of field is greater than what my cell phone camera has, as I keep knocking this with my elbow which you can see with the depth of field. So what I can do is I can set my static shot because I don't have a camera person. I'm talking to my camera on a tripod right now. Um, so what I can do is I can set my shot and when I'm doing detail work on the bench, I can do that same thing, but I can digitally go in and zoom in to a point. Now, when you don't have enough information going into the camera or high enough resolution, then when you zoom in, it gets blurry and fuzzy and just doesn't look good. Well, that's where the folks from Nexigo come in, and uh, they're the ones in the past, they've sent us different charging stands and whatnot for the PlayStation 5 or the P5 if you prefer. But they just sent us their N960E 1080p 60 frames per second webcam. And this is one of those things that, you know, I mentioned John used his cell phone. Jeremy over at Geeks and Gamers talks repeatedly about how he built his channel using a $60 webcam he bought at Target. Now, this here, not the same camera that Jeremy uses, but it has enough interesting technology in it that you could possibly launch your channel using simply this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it, we're gonna throw it on the bench, we're gonna go and see how it comes out of the box, we're gonna connect it to our laptop, and we're gonna do some capture footage with it. Let's go get started. So here on the bench we have the 1080p 60 frames per second webcam. This is again the N960E. Provides sharp smooth videos for meetings or recordings. Dual stereo microphone, autofocus for you, plug and play with a light ring. That is the portion that you see right there. Uh, has a 180 degree web cl webcam clip. Tripod ready design, so that for me is gonna be very interesting. Plug and play free driver and 360 degree webcam rotation. So. That's probably the side to side. Uh, basically their address information there, nothing really on there, nothing on the sides, on the back. So once again, we just have the name of the product, 1080p at 60 FPS webcam, provide sharp smooth, you know, same thing as we had on the front, resolution full 1080p. It's not 4K, but quite honestly for this, 1080p more than sufficient, especially when you consider a lot of people who use things like StreamYards or OBS Streamlabs or just OBS, you're either broadcasting in 720p or just 1080p, so that's fine. 60 frames per second, I do like seeing that. Does 
have a ring light with three level adjustable with touch control. That's cool that you can do it right from here versus having to do it through software on the computer. It is an autofocus with built-in dual stereo mics, uh, 90 degree angle, uh, horizontal view angle, 70 millimeter to infinity focal length. It has a CMOS sensor. Video format is YUY2 or MJPEG. Uh, interesting, we'll have to see. I just want to output an MP4. Lens is a high quality glass lens, so like other people have called uh, Zeiss lenses or other issues like that, or other manufacturers like that. This, they're just using a generic high quality glass lens. Package includes the webcam with a privacy cover and the manual. So let's grab our X-Acto knife here. We'll open this up. Just a couple pieces of tape there. So you want to register to get an extra one year warranty out of the box, it's only 14 days, just take a few seconds to do that, that's good to note. Uh, join us and enjoy better customer service, get first hand news, uh, basically just a couple QR codes on there, user manual which we will look at in a second, and here is the webcam itself. And I'm interested to see a couple things, I, I want to see how long the um, the cable is on it, it actually looks nice and, and long, and I want to check out how it can attach to a tripod because if I can do that that would be terrific so here looking at the camera itself you can see that it does tilt and then it will rotate as well so you can kind of aim and set there's where the webcam mount is or not webcam but tripod mount so you can use a regular shoe for a tripod to mount this too I like that quite a bit now in addition to that it looks like it's a yeah it's just a clamp or a pressure type fit so uh, like for example I use PVC pipe for this I could almost just mount it up top to give us a better top-down view like that when I am filming uh, really nice long cable looks like it might be about 10 feet does have just a uh, clear plastic dealio on the camera which it now no longer has uh, there is the light ring and then now one other thing it has too is that privacy cover there and that's right there so my Retron SQ is going to stand in as my laptop here just because the laptop would be too huge for this um, so what I can do is I can clip that on say this is the front of the monitor and the back right there that'll go against the back of this the display and then kind of make sure that it's not going to slide around anywhere or tip forward and then you also have the option of tilting the camera up and down that way side to side as need be oh and it does have 360 degree motion it looks like for the camera absolutely that's terrific that's wonderful now there is one little piece here that I don't know what the heck it is so let's check it out here real quick oh I will bet you this is a USB-A to USB-C adapter, and if that's what that is, that is awesome because USB-C is uh, so much more convenient to use. Yes, that's exactly what that is. Way to go, Nexago. I like that a lot. And then that's just going to plug right in here. So, oh, awesome. And why that helps me in particular is my capture card has to go into uh, USB 3.0. I would rather use USB-C for my webcam, um, but I only have a USB 2.0 as my other USB port on the side. This will allow that to work for me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's set that aside for now and just check out the manual really quick. So just pointing out here for the software support, Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, Yahoo Messenger, Hangouts, uh, OBS, and XSplit, photo or video using system camera app, camera for Windows, photo booth for Mac OS. So that's awesome there too. Um, yeah, that's, that's nice. And again, just showing you how to use the uh, pedestal on the back there as well, uh, connecting to Windows video calling requirements. Um, what I want to know is how to adjust the LED. So I am not seeing anything in here that talks about adjusting the LED. So again, just looking on the back of the box here, ring light, three level adjustable with touch control. So I'm wondering if, uh, it doesn't feel like, you know, I, I don't click this in to change anything. We'll have to check that out here in a moment. Um, we'll fire up our laptop in a moment and test this out. I know that's a totally gorilla as far as how I have this setup coming through uh, OBS right now, but it's just the easiest way I thought of to go ahead and do it. So the audio you're seeing around here, uh, it is coming off just the built-in microphone on my laptop, although I do have my 
uh, my regular lav mic that I'm gonna pipe in now because it sounds so much better. And now we have the audio switch. We're gonna plug in the Nexco webcam into our USB 3.0 port. Right there, that one right there. Now we're getting a little bit of a refresh, refresh flicker that may be due to the lights behind me. It looks a little bit washed out too. But we will go ahead and configure video here too real quick. I'm gonna turn the brightness down because way too hot. There we go, that was the issue, was that it was set to 50 hertz for the uh, flicker and it needed to be 60. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Um, again, I've got the, the big box light behind me. You can see the other one over there. Now, I did figure out too that the little, I don't know, let me grab the box here because it'll be easier to show you on the box. So, that doodad right there that looks like a light bulb, that's what I touched to turn the ring light on. There's medium, there's high, low is, pretty much useless, at least my opinion it is. Um, but uh, medium and high actually do a decent amount. Um, so we're gonna leave that like that, like that, like that. Apply, okay. We'll zip out of here. Oh, cancel, I need to save that, don't I? So we're gonna bring this bad boy full screen. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Now, just for comparison's sake, I'm going to go to my built-in webcam here. I'm gonna put them side by side so you can actually kind of see in there. I'm gonna make them as close to the same size just so that it's same, same. And then I will slide the Nexco camera pretty much right next to what I have here. Um, so looking at it, um, I will say that my stock webcam on uh, it's my left, probably your right. I, this one here is the stock webcam. So it's not as washed out. You know what I'm gonna do here? Let me turn this off. Because then you can also kind of see the effects of the uh, webcam light. And uh, I think this one looks, the, the one on the right for the Nexco cam, the colors look a little bit more authentic. It's a sharper overall picture being 1080p. Um, the stock webcam being 720p, you can see it's a grainier overall picture. Uh, it is washed out more, but let me do this too. I'm gonna go back in, because I did make some changes. So now I have the exposure set to auto. So I will say the stock webcam, definitely a warmer picture where the Nexco one is not quite as warm. I mean, overall, I think that it's a sharper image, but it's not quite as uh, vibrant of a picture. And then for those, there is the camera privacy setting basically turned off there, it's back open again. Um, interesting sort of setup. Uh, I mean, I don't think that it's going to it's not going to replace my DSLR, which I have right there, and that's what I'm using to capture the audio with right now. Um, but it is something that for a secondary backup camera, um, I could utilize. I'm being thrown off here by the fact that I'm two different heights now on the, uh, there. I wanted my top of my head even left to right there. Um, I, I do think that it's a more vibrant picture here on this one where uh, it's not as washed out as on here. But, I mean, if I adjusted my lighting and everything and went through the settings, I have no doubt that I could get them to look pretty similar. But this is definitely a sharper image than that right there. So um, we're gonna do some more tests with this too coming up. So make sure you check out and are subscribed to the channel because I'm going to be featuring this camera in some additional videos coming up. Let's wrap things up. So there you have my look at the N60E webcam from Nexigo. And what do I think? Well, what do you think? I have my DSLR and the Nexigo webcam side by side here where you can kind of see on the DSLR, yes, the, the image is more lively, more vibrant, the colors are more true, but you're also getting a lot less lower barrier to entry. And the fact that you do have that ring light on there actually did make a difference. I've, I've recorded a few other videos using the Nexco webcam instead of using my DSLR to capture some gameplay footage and actually worked pretty nicely. Um, the cord is only about six feet. It looked like it was almost 10, only about six. A little bit longer cord on there would have been nice. But above and beyond that, for a 
budget-friendly price, it does a decent job. I will probably end up using it more and more in the future when I'm doing soldering work and whatnot. The one thing I don't like, and you may have just heard it, it has to go through my computer to capture the footage. My computer fans are not the most quiet in the world, so they do kick up a little bit more noise than I would ideally like. But let me know down in the comments, is this something you would consider picking up? If you've got any other comments or questions, as always, if you're looking for advice, are you looking to start a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel or a Rumble channel or something along those lines? Let me know. I'd be more than willing to help you out with any advice I possibly can. You can go ahead and leave those comments down below. You can also email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can send me a message on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. And if you are looking to pick up one of these webcams, I will have a link down below in a pin post where you can do so as well. If you are looking for any other tips or tricks how to connect your systems to retro or modern televisions, I will have links to those videos coming up right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rock Solid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon. <laughs>